The uh, detail of the vitreous was magnificent. I had never even seen this before, ever. The red reflex was superb, and I was very impressed with the fact that it remained, regardless of the patient movement, but my preliminary impression is that the SCI has raised the bar in uh, microscope technology and certainly in enhancing the red reflex, which is so crucial to cataract surgery. It's an uh, amazing technology. The uh, retroillumination is uh, unsurpassed. I've never seen anything quite like it. I never thought this was particularly bad, but it's just not as good as the other There's a market difference. When you go from room to room, going back and forth, it's the other, the other scope, it's as if someone turned off all the lights and there's a light source coming from inside the eye. That's what it looks like. The red reflex enhancement is clearly uh, outstanding. It's almost revolutionary in terms of the ability to see details and the, the contrast that was so evident in the capsule of the person seeing the uh, epithelial cells from the underside of the anterior capsule. Uh, we were visualizing the vitreous, not just big vitreous floaters, but even vitreous strands and, and little webs in a way that we've never been able to before. So, yeah, we're very, very impressed with this uh, red reflex enhancement, the new optics. Okay, well, the first thing I noticed is I could see almost every cell, and the depth perception was magnificent. Okay, well, this, this new Zeiss microscope is nothing short of amazing, and I think it can take a good surgeon and, and actually make them great. The visualization is like nothing I've ever seen before. The sense of depth, contrast, the enhancement of the red reflex, it is really quite unique in ophthalmology. I think that anybody uses this after the first two cases. If they don't think it's the best thing they've ever used, they should probably go into another field.